You are watching Curious Mexicans. Please like, share, and subscribe. Woohoo! What's that wiggly creature with so many arms? It's like a water dancer. Hello, Curious Nexa. It's good to see you again. Back for another adventure. That wiggly dancer is a squid. And did you know? Squids are like underwater cousins to snails and clams. A dancing cousin to snails? That's funny. Just like this. Now, can you wiggle like a squid? <laughs> <laughs> so, what actually is a squid? A squid is a soft-bodied marine creature known for its elongated body and many arms. You always have such a keen eye for spotting fascinating things. I've heard about octopuses too. What's the difference between a squid and an octopus? Great question! While both belong to the cephalopod family, there are key differences. Squids have a more streamlined body and are generally faster swimmers. They possess 10 appendages, eight arms, and two longer tentacles. Octopuses, on the other hand, have eight arms and no tentacles. So, the tentacles are different from the arms? Yes, that's right. While arms are often shorter and have suckers along their entire length, tentacles are longer, usually have a clubbed end, and only have suckers on that clubbed part. Where do they live? Squids can be found in oceans, seas, and various water places across the globe, from the top where the waves are to the very bottom of the deep waters. Are there different types of squids? Absolutely. There are over 300 species of squids, ranging from tiny ones to the enormous giant squid. The ocean is teeming with different types of squids. Some are as tiny as your little finger, while the giant squid, a deep sea legend, can be as long as a school bus. Wow! Tell me about the giant squid. The giant squid is a mysterious creature that can grow up to 43 feet long. It lives in the deep ocean, and for a long time, it was considered a legend until scientists could study it up close. That's so intriguing! What do squids eat? They mostly eat small fish, shrimp, and other squids. They use their arms and tentacles to catch their prey and then employ their beak, which resembles a parrot's, to consume it. I've seen some pictures where squids change colors. How do they do that? They have special cells in their skin, called chromatophores, that allow them to change colors. This skill helps them camouflage, communicate with other squids, and sometimes attract prey. And what about the ink? I've heard squids release. Ah, squid ink. When threatened, squids release this ink to create a smoke screen, allowing them to escape from predators. Not only does it act as a visual distraction, but it also interferes with the predator's sense of smell, making it harder for them to track the squid. That's amazing! One last question, do humans eat squids? Indeed they do! Many people around the world relish squid, often referring to it as calamari when it's cooked. Thank you, Wise Bear. The world is so captivating! Your curiosity is truly commendable, Nexa. There's always something novel to uncover, and I'm here to guide you through it. <laughs>